What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are standing in the 1.19 wild update. We're right on top of a mangrove swamp here. This thing is absolutely massive. We also have a beautiful jungle behind us as well. And there's a desert village not too far away. This is a really incredible seed. I'll drop the seed down in the description if you guys want to check it out with the coordinates as well. But what we're really talking about today is the next update now, the 1.20 update, which could be coming out uh, this December if Mojang decides to continue with the six month update cycle, or it's gonna be coming out next year if they decide to do something bigger. There are of course a ton of possibilities of what the next update to Minecraft could be, but let's start breaking it down and I think we've got two really good theories about what the 1.2 update is going to be, whether it comes out this year or it comes out next year. Mojang has continued to release really great content to us over the years and pay, made us pay no extra price as well, which is incredible. I know some people were definitely disappointed with the 1.19 update. They didn't think maybe there was enough work in the deep dark or they wanted some more stuff with the mangrove biomes and that's totally understandable. But I think overall we did get a really great update, which a large majority of players are going to enjoy. But what could the next update be? Well, let's take a look at the past four updates now, the 1.16, 1.17, 18, and 19 updates. All of them were huge updates to the game, starting off with the Nether update, absolutely massive, completely changed the Nether in Minecraft. Now, instead of just Nether wastelands, we have tons of biomes in the Nether and so much to explore. It was really an amazing update. 1.17 and 18, the Caves and Cliffs Part 1 and 2 brought in a ton of new blocks and content and also completely changed how the worlds generate in Minecraft. It was a really huge update, completely game changing to Minecraft and a lot of players really enjoy all the new terrain. I especially love the new terrain in Minecraft, all the new mountains, the caves, everything just looks so cool now. The 1.19 update was huge as well, adding in the ancient cities and also the mangrove swamp along with some new blocks such as mud, the new mangrove trees of course with their new wood type, and then also some new blocks down here, mostly the skulk blocks and then also that reinforced deep slate block which is unobtainable in survival Minecraft. We've got a ton of new content over the past couple years from Mojang and let's think about the update right before all that began, the 1.15 update, also known as the Buzzy Bee update, where they just basically added bees to the game. So what could this mean for the future updates of Minecraft? Well, I think part one and part two of the Caves and Cliffs really took up that entire last year. They didn't have to announce another update for the winter. And right now we just had the wild update release and we don't even know what the next update is gonna be, which is a little out of character looking at the past couple years of Mojang Minecraft update releases. What I think this really could mean and why I'm flying over a desert here is that we're gonna get a smaller update that focuses on changing up some parts of the overworld. And what I think they're going to do with this is actually focus on archeology, span add it to the game and try to make it biome specific as well. So it also adds some biome upgrades to the game, which a lot of players really want. A lot of people really thought the birch forest were going to get an upgrade in the 1.19 update. I was one of those people, you know, they showed the concept art off at Minecraft Live and I really thought, oh hey, we're probably going to get a change to these biomes, which would have been amazing. Of course, we didn't end up getting that, so now I really think that those changes may come in a much smaller update releasing this year. This would be a great way to really take some time, just work on a small update such as archaeology. You don't make it too massive, you just do some biome specific things uh, that really make it a fun thing to explore in either deserts or the birch forest or even the swamp biomes which a lot of people really want to see some small changes in. Of course there are an infinite amount of things that you can build in Minecraft and just like that there are an infinite amount of things that Mojang can add into the game so we're really not sure of this but if we had to place a bet on what that 1.2 update was going to be if it released this year it is most likely going to be an archaeology or some type of biome overhaul in the overworld. That being said, there is another theory along with this, and that is that 
1.2 is going to be a big update to Minecraft that we're probably not going to see for another year. And this is something that I could also definitely see happening. Mojang could definitely take this entire year to work on a huge update for us, which I think would be absolutely incredible as well. Of course, I would love to see some small overworld changes, things like that, but it is very likely that Mojang decides to take some time, not announce an update until Minecraft Live later this year in October, and then we won't see that update until next summer. Now, if this were to happen, it would be a huge update, and the best idea for what that could be would be the update to the end dimension. As most of us know, Mojang has said before that they won't be adding a fourth dimension to Minecraft until they finish off all the dimensions in the game currently. Of course, we've talked about in this video already, they already upgraded.